Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about the Dragon Lord pre-release promos. Each of them are 20 bucks. I believe Ojate is 40 bucks right now. Uh, what is going to happen with their price? Good question. Uh, if you can trade into these, I would trade into them. Although their price is going to fall, I feel like their price is going to fall less than most people expect them to. So you can trade into them pretty safely. Right now they're about 20 bucks a piece. I feel like this one's like 24 and this one's like 20. Although this one is the best one in my opinion. I don't know why it's so cheap. I feel like it's the cheapest one of the bunch. Uh, and I know Ojate is the most expensive one of the bunch being like 40 bucks as a pre-release. So a lot of people pull these uh, mainly because your odds of pulling a foil are pretty much guaranteed and there's only a certain X amount of cards you can pull. So the ratio is actually very good for those booster packs. Um, meaning people are going to have these cards. They're not going to be extremely difficult to obtain. Unlike like a foil Narset is crazy to obtain because you cannot get in the pre-release pack. I would be happy to trade all day into them. And the reason why is because they are Elder Mythic Dragons. Just like why Ugin. So <laughs> to uh, give you a little sneak peek of uh, the Fat Pack openings, the Fat Pack contest, which is not going to disappoint, I guarantee you that. It gets really good at the end. Um, even for the Dragons, Tarkir gets pretty good. Dragons, good. Mythics, good. Foils, good. Elder Dragons, now that's interesting. That type alone brings its value up a lot. Now I don't feel like the price, I know the price is going to fall, and it's definitely not going to go up. Like, it's highly unlikely these dragons are going to go up in price. But that being said, the price could also fall. And how far, how far will it fall depends largely on pretty much the set itself. The set right now, if the set drops in price, it's like $78 on average a box. Then these cards should go up. And the reason they should go up is Dragons of Tarkir will keep its price. The only set I recently have seen that has not kept its price is Dragon's Maze. Which is which is funny, I don't feel like it had any dragons in that set, but whatever. And I love foil mythic dragons. Elder dragons. You cannot get past those types. There's some creatures and magic and there's some epicness in magic that they, you will always find a casual player who will look at this card and fall absolutely in love with the card. You will find those players. Kitchen table players, EDH players. I mean, these dragons will hold their value. Now, they're very high right now because all the cards are extremely high. But compared to some cards that I'm not going to name right now, but you guys know what they are, it will hold its value better as a percentage than those cards. So I have no problem trading standard cards in for these Elder Dragons and Foil. Now the non-foils, I would wait. The foils are completely different when it comes to Mythic Dragons. Absolutely bonkers different, light, day and night different. Other cards are not so different, but for a Mythic Dragon, Having it in foil does not mean a two times multiplier. It could be you know a four times multiplier. It could be a five times multiplier down the line. So keep these dragons if you have them. Trade for them if you can. Uh, honestly, one of the one of the best trade baits I can ever imagine for a casual player would be these dragons. You could trade them straight up for fetch lands of equal value, no problems. And I actually wouldn't have any problems trading my Fessalans into these dragons either. That's how much I like them right now. Yes, they're going to fall in price, but eternal value, they have it. And not many cards I can say that about. 